Now in this video, we will summarize the entire process of finding the predecessor. And I will share a small tip using which you can easily clarify your thought process of all the cases of how to find the predecessor. Uh, so let's start like this. So first case that we have uh, dealt with, that is the case like 40 one where the left subtree is not empty so what you have done to find the predecessor you basically move one step in the left direction that is you came to the left child that is 20 and after coming to the left child you started moving to the right direction as long as possible so 20 to 29 and after 29 to 32 like this so this way you have found 41 so one step left and then all the way to the right in the lower direction of the binary tree binary search tree then came the second case that is kind of nodes like 46 which do not have anything in the left direction that is everything is just null so what you have then is just the opposite you traverse in the upward direction in the binary search tree so what you have done specifically is you traverse all the way right to the upward direction like 46 to 50 then 50 to 65 all the way to the right direction as long as you can go and after that you just move one step to the left direction so that is it so if the left subtree is not empty then move one step to the left child and then move all the way to the right on the other hand if the left subtree is empty then first move all the way to the right direction upwards in the binary search tree and then one step left.